Hey guys, what are you going to do about the sunrise this morning? <laughs> Piercing that cloud. Well, now you have to be the sunrise. In your family, at work, at school. We seem to be in for a blessing of a whole week of rain, which is needed to bring up the lake to a healthy level. Sounds like we have a waterfall over here. Watch this. The blessing of water and life. And water for life. And living water. You know, it might be getting wet over there, so we'll see what we'll be doing. While it's still dry, we'll... You know, I hear a jackal up there on Mount Arbel. Interesting that it's possible to hear them, even with the traffic noise. Oh, here we have some nice flying creatures for you. And we're dancing with David today. Dancing in from what's known today as the Abu Ghosh area, where there's actually a memory of the Ark of the Covenant. And David is dancing ahead of the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem. Yesterday was the taking of Jerusalem overcoming the fortress of the Jebusites. Somebody told me the other day that these are not, the wonderful photographer of the birds I talked about yesterday, that these are not cormorants. This is a different one with a very long beak and I just checked that right now. I struggled retaining names. And he's dancing in the presence of the Lord. Got some wild catfish activity over here. Let's hear them splashing. They don't realize they're being seen in Australia and Norway and Alaska now. <laughs> and maybe South Africa across the globe, north and south, east and west. It's really gorgeous. And David is dancing into Jerusalem in front of the ark. And this extraordinary psalm, O gates, lift high your, your arches, your, your lintel. The king of glory is entering. Always the hunger of the, the human soul to be in God's presence. 
to recognize God, the creator of the universe, who is also with us, near to us, our sovereign Lord. Lift high, you arches, and let the King of Glory enter. David is very happy there. The sense of the human heart and soul in the presence of our Creator and Jesus will give him a name, our father, our daddy. The presence of a little child when daddy comes in, jumping, giddy, wanting a hug, wanting to be lifted up high, up in the arms, to look down into daddy's eyes. And uh, maybe we just walk around the site because I think What's your bet? Are we going to get sunrise? I mean, we have sunrise, but are we going to see the sun? It's a very long shot, so let's go around the site and, and just have a little walk around in other places we don't get to go every day. And then there's a very big crowd over in Capernaum, which is over there behind that solitary palm tree. And... There's a, such a crowd that and Jesus' family are very uh, uneasy about him and they want to come to see him. And they say, your family is outside. They want to get to see you. And he already said to Mary and Joseph, I need to be about my father's business. And some people would see that this is a disclaimer of his own natural family. His mother, his foster father, Joseph. If Joseph had children, maybe a, a sibling kind of relationship. Cousins. And maybe what we need to think is Jesus revealing the ultimate family. And just like when he reveals the ultimate kingdom, he's not taking away the kingdoms on the earth. And just when he reveals our ultimate purpose in life is not taking away the tasks we have at hand. And he will continue to tell a story about the prodigal son and the merciful father, even though he said, don't call anybody father. So we have to put all these things together. And actually we're getting back to the very beginning when the heavenly father says, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And that's really also parallel to words in, in Genesis where God is looking at Adam and Eve and he has said everything is good, but when he created Adam and Eve, he said, this is very good. He's very pleased, very happy, very happy. And this is our ultimate family. And once Jesus looks around and says, all of these are my brothers and sisters, he's also saying to me, you are your brother's keeper, your sister's keeper for every human being. Because the human family isn't restricted to your family. Don't be too tribal. It's not just your family. Okay, that's your first responsibility. Imagine parents running out all over the place doing all kinds of good deeds in the community and their own children are partially abandoned. It'd be a great and be a, a very improper behavior. Sometimes very zealous people, wonderfully motivated doing good, sometimes fail to keep the right balance. 
And here we have Jesus opening up the, our eyes for the large family, the definitive family, where we will all be having one major wedding feast with the groom and the spouse, the wedding of the lamb forever. Amazing family gathering, eternal reunion of party of bliss, of joy. In a way, the abandon with which David is going before the Ark of the Covenant is also reflecting that belonging. I belong to God. God is my Father. God is my joy. God is my life. God is my support. This is where I belong. This is my home, my existential home. This is me. The great discovery of the Father, of the definitive family of pleasing the Father. This is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. And who better than the full of grace? The daughter most pleasing. The mother of the word incarnate. It's not a rejection of her, it's teaching us all to enter into that family, that total availability. Let it be done unto me according to your word. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and opened up a whole new family for us by adoption. People, God bless you. See you later, alligators. Nice spot here with Mount Arbel in the background. Different angle. It's almost like a sunrise over Mount Arbel, but that's not happening because that's in the west and the sun is rising in the east. <sighs> God bless you today, people. Bless your family. God bless your family. Do something special for your family today. And then let's say a prayer for all those who are struggling with God, that they've discovered that their true family is in God. People who have suffering broken family relationships, that they will find healing. And their fidelity to their family members, despite the brokenness, will be a huge blessing for everybody there. See you later, alligators. <laughs>